Is is Neil in? Uh, yeah, I can see him too. I what I'd like to do is schedule a conference with him. Okay. That's not getting filed, by the way. Okay. Do you still do you want a copy of it or no? No, it's not necessary. Bernie Cubitz sent a letter to the two top judges in the case, so that's my response. I consider Cubits and McLean co counsel. They're working together on this. Okay. Um, and so from now on, I'm I'm just sending one of them a copy. They're working together. I don't see any reason to make two copies to send to co counsel. Okay. Um, what do you want to meet with them about? I I want I have to file a lawsuit against Mrs. Fishman, and he brought criminal charges against me when I filed. Uh, uh, it's the demand letter. It's a notice of pending litigation. I mailed it to the Fishmans. I was arrested. I'm on bail conditions. That's tampering with my action against the Fishmans. He's tampered. I've accused him of tampering, criminal tampering. Now I have to file the action that he's tampered with against Mrs. Fishman. There are bail conditions. I'm forbidden because of his illegal tampering from filing the action. I want to know how I'm supposed to file a lawsuit without violating bail conditions. I need his assurance that he's not going to arrest me again for filing another court document. Okay. Um, do you have an interest in this matter? I do, yes. And you are? I'm opposing counsel. You are? I'm opposing counsel Bradley Williams, and you are? Would you please identify yourself? Who's this guy? He says he's involved in the case, but he won't identify himself. I, there's nobody standing there, so I'm not really sure. Well, would you please tell me who this guy is? Uh -huh. This gentleman right here. Yeah. The one with the shaved head. Who is that guy? Oh, it's just one of our officers. Uh, what's his name? I, I don't mean to call you just one, Jason. That's one of our, our good officers. He, he's a state trooper. Oh, but may I have his business card? He says he's involved with this. Well, he, he's involved. He's, may I have your business card, please, officer? No. Why not? You told me you're involved with this. No. I got you on tape saying you're involved with this. I'd like to know who you are and what your involvement is. Hey, Brother, I, I, I apologize, but I've, I don't have a lot of time. Do you want to just talk real quick? I'm glad to talk with you. Yeah. Wanna... I have a lawsuit to file against Mrs. Fisher. Shut this door. Against, yeah, I, I, I didn't hear all of it. You, yeah, you, I, you, I filed, see, I filed her, I sent her a demand letter, and yeah, you arrested me for it. Do you? Did you uh, did you get a new lawyer after Eric Woodbury or Woodman or? I'm I'm counsel. Well, I know you can represent yourself. I just didn't know for questions like this because I can't I can't. I am the attorney you. of record. Right, but I I can't tell you what to do, and I'm thinking that they might be able to help you with something like that. Who's that? A, a, another attorney. No, the corruption ran him off. He said, "I see what you mean by the corruption in the DA's office." He says, "I haven't received another referral since I accepted your case." He says, I've been blackballed. Can you explain that? I cannot. Well, I, I don't, I don't have assistance of counsel because the corruption is so absolute and it starts right here with you. The only case the only case we have the only case we have is the stalking and harassment. It has nothing to do with your civil matter. I know you have a civil matter going. I don't want to be a participant in the civil matter. It doesn't affect our case. We're just trying to resolve the one criminal matter we have pending. The evidence that you presented to the court in the criminal matter is my notice of pending litigation mailed to the defend to the to the pedophile drummer of fish. Uh, on June. You're about the old old case, the one back when you were arrested. Because that had been dismissed in my favor, right. and then on April 24th, Judge Sparaka adjudicated every bit of that was without malice, and that my flyers, my mailings, and everything else was protected First Amendment free speech. And after that, you arrested me. 
for what? filing I, and mailing a court document only. No, I've never arrested you because I don't arrest people. You brought what? the criminal charge against me. If you're talking about the same case that I think we're talking about, we actually didn't bring those charges. You're talking about when you filed a, mo a letter to Breyer about... No, I filed a motion with the court, and at the court's instructions, I mailed it to yes. her, and you yeah. brought the criminal charge against me. No, Bradley, see, that's a, that's why I think you do yourself well to have an attorney because we don't we don't arrest people. We we can look at I arrest know warrants, that. but that's not how this case played out. The case you're talking about was when an officer received some information. He, you were arrested. We reviewed the case, and we didn't bring the charge. That's how that case ended. No, you brought the charge. You left one charge. You took it right up to jury selection. Right. And you know you did. Right, but that was a different charge, Bradley. The one the one you're talking about, when the, when you were advised to mail something directly to uh, the fishermen. I was charged with six counts, stalking, tampering, and harassment. Yeah, the two stalking, the two stalking charges along with the two harassment charges remain pending, but it's not for that incident. It's for uh, flyers, letters, a letter to Brian. Judge Sparaka ruled those are First Amendment free speech protected actions, and they obviously are. Well, what she ruled was in a civil matter on a protection from a harassment order, and you were successful there. I understand that. Yes, That's I different. haven't harassed the Fishmans. He's a pedophile. He I, is a child pornographer, and your job is to bring the charge, the allegations I brought before you in a sworn right. affidavit. Right. You did not bring the charge against the Fishmans. Why? Well, first of all, we we have police officers who investigate crimes. We do not have that crime before us to even review. I brought a sworn affidavit. You don't need a police officer. You have a citizen that brought a sworn well, affidavit. You would want to bring that to the attention of local law enforcement. I think you have. Local law enforcement is the ones that arrested me yeah. for filing the document. And that and that's why I understand you have very strong feelings about this. I understand of course you feel I like because you railroaded me. I do not railroad anybody. I've you actually most treated you very, did. very fairly. You absolutely We've, have not. We have sat in here before. We've had conversations. Then why is the child pornographer the selectman of Lincolnville now? He, because of your tampering and your meddling. He, he does not have charges for those matters pending, Brad. I brought the charges. I have been screaming it from the rooftops for three years. Mike McFadden was involved with the murder of Jeremy Alex. Merle Reed was involved with the Jeremy Alex murder. And they're protecting the pedophile. Right. What are you going to do about this mess that well, you I, have helped create? Well, and, and if you feel that way, I apologize. But I don't feel like I've assisted in creating a mess. I don't know anything about Jeremy Alex. I don't know anything about those cases. They oh, all predate, shit. They don't all, sit there and lie. They all predate my time here, Bradley. I've only been here for two and a half years. Well, then I would be finding out. Mike McFadden, I watched Merle Reed and Mike McFadden with Jeremy Alex's billfold in their hands with their blue rubber gloves on April 26, 2004. Two days, Mike McFadden was a Belfast cop. Why was he in Jeremy Alex's house in Northport? But the only two things I can tell you, I don't know anything about this case, and we don't handle murder cases. That would be the state police, and quite frankly, the gentleman you were just talking with is an investigator for the state police for those types of homicide cases. But the bottom line is, I don't... Oh, the guy that doesn't even want to talk to me, won't even identify himself or give me a business card, well, is the one in charge well, of the we, Jeremy we, Alex murder. Is can, that what you're saying? If we can, let's stay focused because I... I am focused. I'm, well, my focus is the Jeremy Alex murder. It right. always has been, always will and be. That's Justice for Jeremy Alex. And you are the fat son of a bitch standing in my way. Well, I, I don't know about the Jeremy Alex case. If he is a missing person, if something worse happened to him, I hope that Justice does... Prevail, it no, is you problem. don't, or you'd be doing something. You'd be off your fat ass, and you would not be persecuting me for well, filing these documents. Well, I, again, I understand you're upset. I think what you really need to do, if you want to talk about the disposition of your case, we would make a very fair recommendation. Okay, let's talk about the disposition of my case. I filed a motion, a uh, notice of pending litigation. I mailed it to Bernie Cubitt regarding the the... They did. I asked for a retraction from the Bangor Daily News. Right. Bernie Cubitt. That's when he entered the story. On the same day, I mailed a letter to Joe Biden. I mailed one to Briar Fishman. Yeah. Briar Fishman fired Joe when she got that letter, and she went to Bernie Cubitt. He accepted her case in conflict of interest to keep it out of the Bangor Daily News. So he is in criminal violation. You're. 
partner, your co-counsel, Bernie Cubitz, is tampering with all these federal actions in the in federal district court. You are tampering. This arrest tampered with all of my actions in federal district court. You're aware that I was blinded? I, 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 I was blinded I when they put the handcuffs on me for mailing a court document to Mrs. Fishman. I was blinded. I heard that you had a detached retina, but yes. I don't know any more about it than what you said. You gave them permission to arrest me for filing and mailing a court document only. There was never any there right. was never any allegation of any criminal behavior right. on my right. part ever. The only part this office had in the single incident you're talking about was not bringing charges. Okay, I would like a, something from you in writing saying the district attorney's office will not bring criminal charges against me when I bring this federal this civil suit against Mrs. Fishman. You brought criminal charges against me for filing the notice of we, pending litigation. Now I need assurance from you or I can't file. We, you are we, obstructing. We, we don't have the discretion to give you a blanket form that says we will not bring a charge. What All I can talk to you about is the charges that are pending. You brought but, charges against me for filing a notice of pending litigation to Mrs. Fishman. What, what about that don't you understand? Judge Baraka had already ruled that all of that was erased. It was a clean slate. Are you aware of that? What I would encourage you to do is talk to the court again about getting another attorney appointed or talk to whatever attorney you are presently working with. Because I, I do think you need some assistance guiding yourself through the system. I don't I think don't, I need another. Bernie, Kup Bernie Kubitz and I aren't partners. We don't even work together. He's you a, brought him into the courthouse as co-counsel. You tried to let him sit at the prosecution I, table with you, didn't I, you? I don't get to say who comes to the court. And he, if he wanted to sit... You in, brought him with you. They did not. You did too. You were in the conference room with him and then you walked in the courtroom with him. I speak with Bernie when he's around just like I speak You're with him. Uh, then just, I'd like to see all of your phone records like between you and Bernie Eric Cubitz. Woodbury when he's around. I speak with your attorney. That's I believe that you and Bernie are up to here together no. in this... It, I mean, you know that he is representing both the Bangor Daily News and... The Fishman's I, against me. You know that that's a conflict of interest. I don't know anything about all the people he's... You uh, are I, I now, because I'm sitting Fishman. here telling you, right. he took the Bangor Daily News as in conflict. Right. You are supposed to, you're by law supposed to report him to the judge for that conflict of interest. Are you not? I don't know of a conflict of interest. Um, I don't know who Well, then I will present... I have pre the you evidence can. of the conflict of interest is already I, in your files, sir. I, thi I think you brought it to the attention of the court, correct? I, no, I brought it to your attention. It's in your files. Also, you have the maps the most, to the bodies. The you most, have maps to the bodies in your files. Have you notified the coroner of the, the maps of the bodies? I have are sent to both myself and the court. Again, I, I don't know if you're sending me stuff and not sending it to the court, but everything you're filing, you should be providing to the court. I don't pass your motions along. You file with the court, and then you give me a copy. Now, you received the maps to the bodies that I provided, correct? There's an old okay. case where I received a handwritten drawing of... Okay, so you acknowledge receiving that. Did you forward that to the coroner and to the proper authorities? I, I don't forward that information. What? My understanding so the is answer you, is no, you did not forward it. My understanding is you would bring that to the law, local law enforcement. My understanding is the district attorney is required by law to make all the proper notifications when he's aware of a crime. Now you're aware. Now you are aware now that Bernie Cubitz is uh, in conflict. Are you not? I'm aware you're saying that he is. Okay. But um, I would bring that to the court's attention, not to my attention. No, I'm going to bring the evidence of his conspiracy, of his, um, of his conflict, and it's, it's also conspiracy. See, this makes you a co-conspirator in the federal tampering. And you have a right to do that, Bernie. Uh, uh, Please Bradley. don't call me Bernie. You have a right to do that, Bradley, but that's not for you and I to argue about. That's between you and the court. If you want to bring a suit against Bernie uh, Kubitz, oh, I fully intend to. You've brought suits I... again against me, and those are pending. But yes, what... and why are you sitting? Why are you a district attorney when I have a valid extortion complaint pending against you? Because why I... have you not recused yourself? Because it's my case, I don't recuse myself. If the court tells me I can't handle the case, I'll no longer handle it. But well, until they don't you think something. there's an appearance of bias if you're prosecuting me for mailing court documents I, when I already have a pending case I against think, you? I That's think, not tampering in the case I think against you're confused yourself. About what happened? Is no, what I'm mean. not confused. Right. You arrested me for mailing a court document to Mrs. Fishman when you had a pending lawsuit against you in federal court. You still do. 
Because of this arrest, I have new bail. All right. I have new bail mm -hmm. extortion fees that you owe me because you brought another fraudulent criminal charge against me, knowing good and goddamn well I was going to have to file another federal lawsuit against you. All I can talk to you about is the case. Do you want to talk about the case? Because if you don't, I really do have to get back to the other cases that are on for tomorrow. Okay. You know what? Uh, no, I think we're done. Um, you've got... What I would suggest, though, Brad, is... You Look, I don't need your questions. suggestions. You keep your suggestions yourself. Well, good luck, sir. I... <laughs> Excuse me. Where's yeah. the state trooper that was just here? Uh -huh. Where's that state trooper? 